What's going on, everybody? With my hip hop fans, or my hip hop junkies, man, it's your boy Just Supreme Alliance Radio. We back in the building, man. Always, we got a, a special guest in the building with us. Now, I mean, I got my man GB, aka God Bless. Now, yes. I'm building with us today, man. What's going on with you, bro? Well, I'm here, man. Just like I said, quarantine. Just, just trying to work, man. That's it. Just making music and uh, surviving. Absolutely, and it's crazy because, like I said, when I um when I listen to your music and this from the, this the style of music itself, man. Uh, I, I could have sworn you was from New York. <laughs> now, yeah, man, I'm, I'm big yeah. heavily, heavily influenced by uh by East, like the '90s boom bap East Coast rap. I see. Because actually, yeah. um, how, uh, matter of fact, real quick, how long you been? Uh, how long you met? Uh, you been working with MJ? Uh, like five, six months now. Okay, because yeah. I, I had um. Cause I got to one of your songs before. I don't, I don't remember if I got it from her, or if I just I just ran across it and just got it. You know what I'm saying randomly, which was mm-hmm. uh the, the joint uh 1994. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, so like, yeah. I had that. I was I was playing that on the air for a while. Then I seen that she uh she was working with you and she sent me um she sent me uh uh uh, uh King of Pop. You know what I mean, she yeah. Sent me that. You know what I mean, and that's that's a heavy joint as well. You know what I mean, um. Now, real quick, let the people know where you're from, though. I, like I said, I thought you were from New York. Let the people know where you're from. Uh, Canada up top, Ottawa to be exact. That's the actually that's the nation capital. Everybody thinks it's Toronto, but it's not. It's actually Ottawa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know that. My bad. No, I'm just saying there's a <laughs> lot of people think so. I'm just I'm just clarifying things. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, actually, where, where, where Drake is from? He's from Toronto. He's from Toronto. Okay. Yeah. How far is yeah. that from here? Six hours. Oh, so y'all sometimes y'all ways apart then. Right? That's like, like from here, like for me, like going down from Jersey to Virginia. About like six, yeah, exactly. Hours. Basically, because uh, like in uh, you guys have states, we got provinces, right? So right. me and him are in the same province, but different cities. Okay. So I, I remember in your profile that um, that uh. That you've been releasing music for the past ten years, but how long you been writing, man? How long you been, you know what I'm saying, doing your thing for? How long you been spitting, man? How long you been blessing the pen and the pad, bro? Like seriously, or just, just like for, for, for fun? For, for like whenever you, you felt like you could actually do this shit. I mean, I know seriously, it's probably different. Like for talking about, I know a lot of times people like I started writing when I was like 14, but I took the seriousness and I like, you know, what I mean, like 18 to 20, whatever. You know what I mean, I would, I would say like since I was like 16. Who's on your um, biggest influence? I know you said the East Coast boom bat era was one of your biggest uh, influences as far as music goes. Like, who's one of your favorite MCs from that from that era? Like, who I'm saying, who influenced you to I me mean, to pick up that pen and pad like that, bro? Uh, to, to be honest, like, uh, the, it's it's, it's rock him to, to 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 actually like sit and start breaking down bars and actually taking like step up my like my penmanship and uh, my wordplay is definitely rock him. Because when those records came out back in the days I was a kid, I couldn't really understand what they were saying, right? I just right. knew it was dope music. But as I got older and I really started to understand what, the, what Ra was saying, I'm like, this guy's like an alien, man. How's he even coming up with this stuff? It's crazy, you know? So I'm like, I definitely got to step I gotta step my shit up. No, nah, absolutely. Like him, um, Karis One, Big exactly. Daddy Kane, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, Slick Rick, you know what I'm saying? Slick Rick. You know, that let's go on and on. You know what I mean? Poochie, Poochie rap. Poochie rap. You know what I'm saying? Uh, letting, letting, letting take them away from uh, MC Shan. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. that era. Um, um, even Master Ace, that whole symphony lineup. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can't forget about Master Ace because he was, yeah, because he had a couple hits out. I mean, he never, you know I mean, was as popular as some of the other MCs that we mentioned, but. He, he was a, he was a beast though. He really was a beast. Yeah, definitely, but like, when it comes to like extreme lyricism, like there's definitely like Kane, uh, Ra, uh, Cool G, Rap, KRS. They they really stepped the bar the bars like really they really stepped it up. But as an all time favorite, I have to go with KRS One because he's like the total package as far as like stage presence, 
and performance and freestyle. Like he's all like well rounded as an artist. Absolutely, yeah. He one he one of my big, uh, one of my favorite MCs as well. You know what I mean? And he got not only hits but he consistent. You know what I'm saying? He put out music on a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got shows even till day, even till now. Oh mm-hmm. uh, hell yeah, hell yeah. In fact, um, what was it? It was it was something I was listening to. Uh, K Slay, that yeah. um, that that new joint he just put out like the forty. He's like so like forty minutes. <laughs> oh, like the hundred and ten deep. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had Grandmaster Kaz on there. Uh, Melly Mel. Mel. Yeah, the line the lineup is insane. It's crazy. The 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 lineup is just. I just. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's that a couple of times. I said the same thing. Like the lineup was crazy. You know what I mean? Because yeah. he, he he went from like, like uh, I ain't gonna say that like a new era, but he went from an era where. You know what I'm saying with uh lyricism was uh, uh you know was important like he had yeah. um he had um you know uh uh uh, uh mop on on i'm saying mop was yeah. on there uh the Ghost Rays, Ray Kwan, yeah the locks was on there so he went from that era and took it all the way back you know what i'm saying and like the show you know, like these new artists what like mcn is about you know what i'm saying exactly um, which actually leads me to my next question what do you? How do you feel about the the, the nature of hip hop nowadays? Like, like far as how, how how the game is. Like, how do you feel about that shit? Um, I I get into a lot of arguments with my own peers because when I say that that like I don't really like the mumble rap stuff, so it always leads to an uh, an argument because my thing is this, right? I'm not I, I'm not against a black man making money and all that, right? Right. My only issue with this is like when they try to call it hip hop, they can call it drill and trap. They can call it whatever they want to call it, but you can't call it hip hop because it doesn't represent the five elements. Right? right. That's my only issue with that. Just let like the real MCs rap hip hop, and they can rap that drill and trap and whatever stuff they're doing. You know. I just want to, I just want it to be separated. That's my only issue with that. You know. Mm. So if you're speaking of your, your era, because you. What you was um doing eighties baby, nineties baby? Eighties. Eighties. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So definitely. I mean, now I I, I say the same thing, man, because you know, um certain certain new music is isn't for me, you know what I'm saying? Like a couple of, like my son, he's eighteen, you know what I'm saying? And he listens to some of that like, I'm say somebody listen to all oh, this to that new ever shit, you know what I'm saying, that new music. And uh some artists I can't get with, you know what I'm saying? But some of them I can, I can fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? It all depends on what they're talking about. Or it also depends if I can understand what the hell they're saying. <laughs> that's another issue. That's that's what I always tell, like, as far as, like, the, the, the 80s and the 90s rap, like, uh, like KRS-One, they were sampling jazz records and, and funk records. That doesn't make KRS-One a funk musician. He sampled it, and he did his own thing with it. So the mumble rap, they have, like, like they have a little bit of hip-hop roots in them, but they're not doing hip-hop. They were influenced by rap, but they just went and did a whole different genre of music, which is fine. Like I said, my only issue is when they try to say it's hip hop when it's not. You know so what you I mean? consider the whole the category is hip hop is all at, at all. Like it's not even part of the hip hop family, basically. No, it has hip hop roots, like influence, right? Just right. like if you uh, just like dance hall and reggae is not the same thing, man. It's not the same thing. I'm gonna use that as an uh, like as an Perfect analogy. Example. Yeah, right. Right. conscious reggae and dancehall is not the same thing. No, that makes sense. I got, I definitely understand that because uh, people do get that like, confused. You know what I'm saying reggae and dancehall, how, even though um you know it, it's, uh, the artists are both from Jamaica, but it's exactly. not the same music. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, matter of fact, I want to ask you that too because I seen the, the video on your uh, your Instagram. I think the footage from um, I think you said it was '95. I think he was in, he was, was you in, you shot, shot a video in Jamaica. Is that yeah, 2015? 2015, that's right. Hmm. Are you, that's where you're from originally? Jamaica? No, that's or? not where I'm, that, I'm, I'm originally from Africa. I'm Congolese. But, um, yeah. like, like in Canada, there's a big Jamaican community, man. So we were heavily influenced by the music. As far as, like, when I was coming up, like, uh, reggae and hip hop is the only two things I listen to. So when you listen to my music, you're definitely going to see that let that influence in my music, you know? So I went to Jamaica in 2015 because I shot a documentary. It's called Bridging the Gap. 
It's just showing you like the, the roots of hip hop and reggae are, are, are the same. Like there's a lot of similarities as far as like, like they say DJ, a DJ is actually an MC in, uh, in Jamaica. But right. hip hop, the DJ is the one like playing the music and scratching the records. It's, we have different turns, but it's always, it's, it's the same thing, right? All and it's all, sort of, it's all music from the ghetto, right? So same struggle. Just, just expressed in a different way. I think um, who was the who's that DJ name from um from from the Bronx? They say that uh started hip hop. Cool uh, cool cool he's Jamaican. He's, he, he, uh, he's Jamaican. Yeah, he's from Jamaica. Like the when you go to Jamaica, 